Hello and welcome to Live Local and Loud with Kevin Gorn. My name's Kevin Gorn and in this show we will be chatting to live musicians from the local music scene where the music's best played loud. In the next hour I shall be chatting to John Commons from the Victoria Bikers Pub and Lee from Prime Band UK will be doing a musician to musician chat uh, because he'll be chatting to... David from Kid Clumsy and local music by local bands. First up on today's show, we're going to hear the sultry sounds from the local Soul Stress. Alice Kube and her a track that was released just a couple of months ago, Love on You. Tell me why I've been feeling this way. You're on my mind and I think that I want to stay. But I cannot sleep, you're in my dreams. I sit and I think and I'm waiting patiently Tell me why I'm feeling this way You're on my mind and I think I wanna stay mm-hmm. I'll be putting my love on you You'll be putting your love on me And if you wanted me to the voluptuous vocals from Alice Kube uh, that's spelt K-U-B for B- Bertie E cube 
uh, if you want to find her on Facebook. I think I last saw her at the beginning of the year, February time, in the Together Festival in Leicester in the O2 Academy. That was the first time the festival's been held, so hopefully it'll be on again next February in Leicester. Okay, so now it's time to chat to John Common from Commons from the Victoria Bikers Pub in Colville. Um, he's going to be up in his roof garden and telling us all about his garden. Hello there, John. Are you well? Hello, how are you doing? I'm, do- I'm doing very well, thank you. <laughs> now, you're currently on the roof of your pub, is that right? That's right, yeah, we've got a roof garden and it's sort of a, we, we, a stage area as well, so... Um, oh, OK. I uh, can't... We've put solo acts on and stuff. I can't hear any birds tweeting. So I dare say the sheltering. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> okay, so... We've got umbrellas in Colville, you know, the birds. It's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so you're, you're the, you run the Victoria Bikers Pub in lovely sunny Colville, don't you? Uh, that's right, yeah. Oh, okay. You t- just tell us a little bit about the pub. I mean, you... It's a bikers pub, but it's more of a live music venue than anything else. Oh, okay. um, but we have, you we know, we do encourage bikers. We're, we're so well known on the bike circuit that I wouldn't dare change the name to anything else, you know. Right. Uh, but they're a lovely bunch, you know, there's never any trouble here ever, you know. It's um, uh, it's a very safe pub. And yeah. Friendly as well, you know. Where people say how friendly it is. And now, you've um, you've spent last summer doing the out- outdoor stage. Tell us a little bit yeah. about that. I approached the council and asked them if I could build a, an outdoor stage. It, it should be just like a wooden marquee. Mm. Um, what's the chance of getting it passed? And he says, well, we, we've got no objection to you doing that, to get some drawings made and let's see how we go. So I had some drawings done and I got a local company to uh, draw plans, apply the plan, apply for the planning permission and we got it. Oh, brilliant. So, uh, so you're now, uh, build, you've given it a name now, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like a cave. We we dressed it all like a cave inside. It's um uh, the, the stage end, if you like, is it's very cavey. You know, it's got oh. branches and weird people and drawings and uh, uh, lots of artificial flowers and ivy and. Oh, that's and interesting. Stuff. And I suppose you. You built that just in time, really, because at the moment um, I see you're you're having outdoor gigs there. So I bet you're putting it to good use. We're one of the few venues that um, are lucky enough to, uh, you know, to have the uh, to have the well, not opportunity, but uh, you know, have the use of what we've got. That's it, the outdoor uh, space. Yeah, we had our first band on last week. Okay. And uh, it went really well. Uh, They want to play here again, and. Tickets now are online because we need to count people, you know. Yeah. The only way you're getting to see a band is to actually buy one um, from, it's called We Got Tickets. We and, Got uh, Tickets, yeah. right. Let, let's just play a little bit of music now. I see you've uh, you've had some quite big bands playing there over the years. But I see one of the bands that was due to play in uh, in May uh, of this year, so just a couple of months ago. Obviously, it was cancelled because of coronavirus. Uh, but one of the bands were Iron Python, no less. Um, oh, yeah. They, yeah, they uh, they were going to come all the way from LA, weren't they? Leicester area. Not only do they come from Leicester area, but they come from just down the road, don't don't they? Mostly, oh, yeah. mostly in, in Colville. Yeah. So uh, yeah, California, no, it's Colville area. Yeah, yeah. they um, they remind me a lot like um, like Steel Panther. Um, they play good yeah. rock music, but it's really really yeah. humorous. I love it. Oh, so we have a Steel Panther tribute. Oh right, the, the real Panther. Oh. And they are absolutely bang on. Brilliant. You know? oh. uh, they usually play between Christmas and the New Year. Right. And uh, maybe a date in the summer. But let's play a little bit of music then. Let's have uh, Colville Girl by Iron Python.
like a Colville girl was Colville Girl by Iron Python, uh, who've come all the way from LA, being the Leicester area. Um, okay, so I'm here now with John from uh, from the Victoria Bikers Pub in sunny Colville. Um, but you're on the roof, um, John, so what are you yeah. doing on the roof? I'm uh, chilling out. It's great. It's a lovely place to chill out. Yeah. You're away from everything. I see about 25 people up here. Right. Uh, but I'm on my own in a minute. Sounds lovely. Do you have acoustic yeah. acts up there? I can do, yeah. Yeah, yeah no problem. It's, uh, uh, and we do wait to service as well, so all you got to do is text your order down and Benjamin, my barman, uh, Ben the barman, <laughs> uh, he'll run up with the order. Oh, okay, um, brilliant. Table, you see, so um, you can't, you've not got to move. There's also a toilet upstairs. Mm -hmm. uh, but like you say, though, people have got to book in advance, so they can't just come in off the street. Oh, no. And it's cheaper to buy a ticket online than it is to... If we haven't sold out, then we, um, we, we, we'll, we'll take uh, payment at the bar, but it's more expensive to do that than it is to book a ticket. Right. So, um, you and, know. and presumably, obviously, social distancing applies throughout. Oh, absolutely. We've got all, in, in the outdoor stage, all the tables are uh, spread out. Um, uh, we can accommodate... Uh, Really easily, right? Um, I mean, it's ca this capacity is 160, so we're running at about 25 percent in the minute. But I'd rather be, I'd rather do that. It's not about money, is it? It's about people enjoying themselves and uh, being safe. So, mm, absolutely. Um, that's more, foremost in my mind. And uh, I see you've also got Iron Maiden tribute band coming up shortly. Yeah, yeah, we've got um, some have sold out. We've got an audio. I think it's audio. Rage, 
Right. And it's half a set of Audio Slave and half a set of Rage Against the Machine. Oh, wow. That sold out in, that sold out in 24 hours. Crikey, Although that's good. Only 40 tickets, I know, but um, that's still it's, good. it's still rather quick. Cockton, Cockton Loaded is sold out. Right. And there's another band that's playing this week that's sold out. Brilliant. Uh, so, it, uh, although we're only low in 40 in, them tickets went really quick, you know. So, yeah. Um, and next, but it's the way, it's the way forward for us now, you know. It's, um, Okay, John. Well, uh, we're going to have to wrap this up now. So it's been great chatting to you. Um, so how do people how do people find out more about the events that are on at the uh, the Victoria Bikers Pub in Colville? Uh, well, it's, um, if you go on our website, yeah, the bikerspub.co.uk. Right. So on the front page is a link to ticket. We got tickets. Oh, I and then everything is listed. All they've got to do is look around. Don't know what's playing. And if they want to buy a ticket, they just if there's one available, you know, then, then they can buy it. They can get camping as well, um, you know, at the same site. So, uh, you okay. know, it's... Um Okay, that sounds that sounds brilliant. I'll have to get on that then because I'm going to book to book, book my place for tomorrow night. Um, you're are you still dog friendly, pub? Oh yeah, yeah <laughs> great. Always happy. No. Great. I don't know. As long as it's sort of quiet, it should sit down. They're going to be yapping all the time then. They'll have to go on the roof garden. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Out> the <Okay. way. laughs> but no, I don't mind dogs at all. Okay, that's brilliant. Okay, John, well, thank you very much for your time today and chatting to us. Welcome. And uh, so we're now going to go out with Raucous Reds, uh, the lead singer of which is playing tomorrow night on your, on your lovely roof terrace. I can't wait for that. It's only a fiver. Um, so here's Raucous Reds and their latest single which was released just last month, and it's called Fat Cats. Another day, another way with me Liars are 
That was Fat Cats by Raucous Reds, spelt R-E-D for Delta, Z for Zebra, um, in case you want to find them on Facebook. And George, the lead singer, will be doing an acoustic set at the Victoria Bikers Pub tomorrow night. Uh, You can get your tickets for £5.50 from We Got Tickets, and it's ticket only um, to help with social distancing, etc. And that's at the Vic Bikers Pub. Okay, uh, the song in the middle of the interview was by glam rock band Iron Python, who, as it happens, we'll be chatting to on next week's show. So that'll be fun. So now we're going to slow the pace down ever so slightly. Um, I'm going to pa- play a song from The Chairman. Mostly, They're mostly from Hinkley. They split a few years ago, unfortunately. But as is often the case, several bands have indeed formed from the ashes, one of which I'll be playing straight afterwards. But first, here's Tarantulas by The Chairman. <laughs>
in the lion's den will finally sleep with written warnings by your feet cause the boy will cry about nothing I Every mountain you drowned in the sea Couldn't see the evil between you and me Don't be fooled by his wisdom It's not what it seems you Tear away your heart Suffocate your dreams That was The Boy Who Cried Wolf by the Demons of Ruby May, which only has two band members in it, Johnny Gavin and Adam Rowley, who were both in The Chairman, who you heard before that. Um, Looking at their Facebook page, it looks like there's only one gig that hasn't been cancelled with the Demons of Ruby May headlining. Um, That's at the Y Theatre on October the 29th. It also has Charlie and the Martyrs and the Phased Supporting. So amazing lineup if that is indeed going ahead. And that's at the Y Theatre in Leicester. Okay, so now we're going to have a little interview where Lee from Prime Band UK will be doing a musician to musician chat to David from Kid Clumsy. We are live, local, and loud. I'm speaking with David from Kid Clumsy. How are you this evening, David? You well? Very good, thanks, Lee. Thanks for having us on. My absolute pleasure. So, yeah, you've got your 
uh, back on the track with some proper salt of the earth punk rock gigs. Got got some things uh, lined up very shortly. Do you want to tell me a little bit about the band and how you how you got got cracking and started? The band's been around since about '96, but with other projects going off, we've kind of left it on the back burner. But the past two years, we've got together, wrote some new songs, and it's all good. We're back on the road, flying. Uh, we've done a few Europe dates. We've done most around the UK. Then um, COVID nineteen kind of stopped us in the tracks for a little while. Yeah, so you just getting a lot. Of, I did notice you've got a wide range of tour tour dates over the country that you got cracking on last year, and and then obviously, of course, you've done a few. Uh, you just said you did a few uh, live streams uh, recently. Then and, um, and obviously, did, did have you spent a lot of time recording and working on new material since you've uh, since the lockdown period or? Yeah, we're just about to release our third EP because we don't like albums. Um, so that comes out in August the 1st and the next one's already three quarters written to be released probably the end of the year or the start of next year. Brilliant. So you've not been messing around during this time and been, been productive and try and keep that momentum and going and things like that. Have you been working on the recordings and have you, have you been sending tracks back and forth online, things like that? Or? Yeah, it's all been through online and um, for the past what six weeks we've been in rehearsal rooms, uh, lots of space and screens up. So it's all good. So do you all do you all um, record? Do you all write and record equally? Then you, you do you all contribute lots of different ideas. Have you got a main songwriter, or what? What tends to be your? No, it's a total band effort. Anyone can bring an idea, and we know we all work on it. It's the first band actually I've been in that's actually all worked together rather than just one songwriter coming up with everything. It's absolutely amazing at the moment. It feels like you're bouncing off each other really nicely with the with the material that you've got at the moment. Then, so you've yeah. got the um, you've got two tracks that you've sent us. Uh, first one's called "Love Is a Battery Field," which I'm I'll play in a, in a second. Is that going to be uh, that's on the very latest EP that you're bringing out on August the first? Then is it that one? Uh, no, no, that's on the last album, which is called uh, "Singing Our Souls." Um, that was released last year. Um, it's one of the people, people always ask for that song, so we thought we'd give it a spin on your show too. There is a cover on the new EP as well as a so-called hidden track. Um, the hidden track's part of um, Pete Shelley's memorial from the Buzzcocks. Well, fantastic. Uh, we got um, in contact, well, they contacted us, some record label, saying, can you do a charity thing? And we co covered one of his songs and it's hidden on the EP somewhere. Oh, super. Well, if there was a blueprint for a proper salt of the earth punk band, I think it would be the Buzzcocks one. Yeah. Fantastic band. Saw them live. I think they were the, literally the loudest band I've ever seen live, and that, that <laughs> takes some, some beating. So we're going to crank out uh, Love is a Battery Field. You can tell me a bit more about it in a second. Check this one out. <laughs>
that was a track called Love is a Battery Field by Kid, Kid Clumsy. Do you want to tell me a bit more about the meaning behind that track? I definitely get a lot, a lot of a lot of message, a lot of content in your music, and it's it's certainly not just brainless punk kind of music, is it? It's, you've, you've got a bit of content in there, and can you tell me a bit more about that one? I think that's the greatest compliment anyone's ever said to us. It's not brainless. Yeah, yeah you must have had a lot of rubbish, rubbish compliments then in the, in the past. <laughs> yeah, um, that song basically is about um, how soulless dating is at the minute and how horrible it is just to swipe left on someone rather than right. And it's it's just soulless, isn't it? So it kind of tongue-in-cheek had to go at that. But then a guitarist went and married someone off Tinder and it kind of blew that song out of the water. Oh, so it's it's one that's, yeah, it's, it's called for by the by the people that like your music um, at the gigs and stuff. But you're trying to, trying to kind of sidestep the uh, talking about it too much. So we'll, we'll, move, <laughs> we'll move swiftly on then on that one. But... Um, so, uh, in terms of the live scene, I did, I did notice you, you're working quite a lot, a collab- lot of different collaborations. It seems to be a lot, a big scene around Colville, especially in Midlands. Kind of, there's, there's a lot of good, good punk gigs and nights there, isn't there, at the moment? Uh, what's been, what's been cracking off recently? I know you're working with your, your label at the moment. To tell me a bit more about uh, that. STP are probably the best label in the world. Uh, mm-hmm. They're really good at looking after us, uh, which we need looking after. <laughs> they have their managers as well, just putting us in direction of a gig and off we go. Um, they've got so much belief in us and they never bother us. They just let us get on with any direction we decide to point in. They're like, yeah, try it, go for it. Um, but yeah, they've just been absolutely brilliant to us. That's, uh, that's kind of the epitome of punk rock, isn't it? Just giving people that, that creative control. Just... No messing around and things like that. I noticed uh, Hung Light like, Hanrat is on the same label, aren't they? You've got quite a close relationship with those. Uh, my band Prime uh, played a gig and um, Alsatian was doing the sound on it actually one day and he came down to help out at this punk charity gig actually. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, Mad it's, Box of yeah. Punk. he's absolutely got a heart of gold, that man. Your um, second track today, it's going to be, uh, we're going to play a track called Bully. Is that another one of the, the, the ones off the past releases, that one? Uh, yeah, that one's off the first EP, um, Spit Your Dummy Out. Um, yeah, it's been around a while, that song. We've kind of reinvented it. Um, Carl Reed, came, the guitarist, he came up with a new riff for it. It just sounds fresh, and it's it's another favourite. Excellent. So that's, that's that been rebooted on the uh, new EP, or just rebooted with the live sound that you've got? Uh, it was rebooted off the um, first EP, because the song goes back from early 2000s. Wow, is that from, from a different group? That one, yeah, totally. It's, okay. Okay. So, we'll, we'll have a spin of that and we'll tell you a bit more about it in a second. This one's Bully by Kid Clumsy.
We are live, local and loud. I'm Lee here from Prime and I'm with David from Kid Clumsy. That was his track, Bully, the, from the first EP uh, online. Check it out. Check out their YouTube page at Kid, Kid Clumsy. That's Kid and Clumsy with a K. So just uh, so that you know on, your, on the Facebook page as well. So um, you've obviously uh, you've got uh, the all day are coming up at uh, the Victoria uh, bikers pub in Colville. Uh, that's on the eighth of the eighth, and that's going to be your first gig back since the lockdown into that that particular one. So, that's the one. Um, it's for Barking Mad Promotions. They've done a few um, festivals at the Vic. Great success. Um, this time it's going to be seated. It's going to be a lot different for the bands to try and get the reaction of the crowd to get us all going. But I'm sure they will. I'm sure. Well, it'll just be the excitement of obviously it's your first gig back since since this scenario has happened. So I'm sure everybody will be putting in probably double the energy to to that particular one. There's some fantastic um, band names on there as well. I think uh, I've seen Noose play live in um, in Nottingham. I used to put on like punk bands at the Tap and Tumblr and stuff in Nottingham. Also, I love the band name uh, We Punch Tigers. I've not heard the music yet, but I straight away want to. They're absolutely. Like, they live up to that name totally. they live up to the name I, I definitely want to see them play so uh, that's on the 8th of the 8th and then you've got gigs lined up in you've got your bit of a proper mixed bag here Gateshead Yeovil Manchester Stafford uh, they're all coming up this year those particular ones or is that next year those um, half and half we've got a few yeah. more this year um, I think Manchester's the last one in December then we start all over again and hopefully more venues will open up and have us all over around the country. It's it's where we belong. So anybody who's listening from those towns, check out the Kid Clumsy Facebook page for, for those dates and, and things like that. Um, well, thank you very much for coming on the show tonight, David. Uh, been an absolute pleasure having you on. You're very and, welcome. Um, good luck with the upcoming shows. I'm sure they'll absolutely smash it. Anybody who's into the lively punk good time kind of but still with that message there as well should thoroughly enjoy it i'm sure and uh, thank you for your time fella All, have a lovely evening and you too mate thank you very All much very best bye-bye that was lee chatting to david from local punksters kid clumsy now we're going to have a little bit of soulful folky music now by a band called Dust and Debris. I've seen these many, many times, usually at Glaston Budget, actually, Glaston Budget Festival. Um, we've got the wonderful vocals of Les Eastham. So this is Falling in Love Again. on the telephone sweetest voice I ever heard she said I want to play the saxophone like Charlie Parker play like bird but it's a bird that flies inside my eyes it's a bird that's flying ever free and it feels like I'm falling in love again on my TV screen but the TV screen was dead heard a voice in the middle of the night but the voice was only in my head it's the head that tells the heart what to do but it's the heart that tells the head if it's true what it feels like you think you know me well If only you could be me Then you'd feel how much I'm under your spell I'm aching all alone tonight 
Cause you think you know me well If only you could be me Then you'd feel how much I'm under your spell
Cause me and you are suited We'd be fools not to pursue it You've been on my mind for a very long time That was Dust and Debris, Feels Like Falling in Love Again, followed by Morgan Monroe, Take Me Home. That pretty much brings us to the end of this week's Live Local and Loud with Kevin Gorn. I hope you've enjoyed the show. Don't forget, if you like to check out anything to do with local music, visit www.musicinleicester.co.uk there's um, everything to do with gigs um, record reviews there's a diary of gigs coming up as well the ones that haven't been cancelled and you'll also see a podcast of this week's show and previous shows as well so it's all in there your single resource for anything to do with local live music that's www.musicinleicester.co.uk. Have a great week. I'll see you same time, same place next week. <laughs>